Hello everybody. I got a bunch of comments on my uh, previous video of mine asking me to do a tutorial on how I upscale anime clips. So that's what we're going to do today. So the three programs that I use are DaVinci Resolve, which is my main video editing software, but anything I do in DaVinci Resolve you can definitely do also in Premiere Pro and Final Cut. So yeah, so that, that'll just be my main one. And then Dane app is what I use to uh, split video into individual pictures. I use PNG, but whatever. Um, and the reason I do that is because Waifu 2X is what I use to upscale my, uh, my clips from 1080p to 4K and it needs to be pictures, not uh, video. So yeah, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you get a really high quality um, video to start out with, um, not just downloading it from YouTube or something. So there's a bunch of, I mean, the, the best legal way to do it is to like buy the Blu-ray, but a le there's definitely less legal ways of doing it. And what I usually do is just, I Google anime RAWS, R-A-W-S, and then look at some links and I can find stuff. And so yeah, so what I use right here is a clip from, or I, I, I got the full episode one of season two of Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, and then I edited down just a 20 second clip of the fight scene, which is um, a really cool part. And that's what I'm gonna be using. It's only like 20 seconds long, I think. So what I do is I pick out my clip and then I go to the color correction options. And yeah. Um, so I will pick a specific clip or picture that has like some very clear lines like this is perfect that I can look at and then um, I'm going to be on this this button right here this guy right there and then I'm going to go to the middle dot here which is the sharpen mode and then you just click the radius down one or two times. And then I'd like to zoom in a lot on a line, a specific line, because that's really where you can see the sharpening take place. So this is um, this is normal. And then you just click it down one or two times like that. And then the scaling then kind of like goes backward and makes it a little bit fuzzier again. But um, it, may, it also makes it so it's less artifacty. So Probably something like that. I think that looks okay. And then here, uh, if you hit Control D, that's how you can disable a node and be able to like AB what it looks like before and after. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm going to do there. Just a little bit of sharpening, and then go to Deliver, and I will export both a video clip of this and an individual audio clip. Um, so I actually did that previously. So if you go in here, I'm going to delete this. Okay. If you go in here, I have a, an audio clip as well as a video clip. All right. And so then we're going to go to Dane app and we're going to input files and we're going to pick that video clip that we just exported. And then Dane app is actually an app for, um, adding extra frames like interpolation you know if you want to jump something up to like 48 frames a second or something that's not what i'm using it for though i'm just using the step one which is uh to just split the video into individual pngs so yeah so once it's done with that then you will have where is it right here kobayashi frames kobayashi clip so these original frames and these are all you know individual pngs at 1080p you can open one up and look at it if you want like that um and so then after that we will open up waifu 2x and i'll have links to both dane app and waifu in the uh, video description and we're going to go to the folder that all those individual pictures are in and then drag that into waifu 2x and then it automatically will create a new folder with the whatever we export out of waifu 2x and so uh two times magnification will turn 1080p into 4k level one for denoise i've noticed if you put it keep it at level zero even if you have like a really nice looking jpeg with no 
distortion. Sometimes it'll actually add its own artifacts, so I just leave that at level one, which is, I think, the default. And then I use the CU net model. I don't know if this does works if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card with um, CUDA cores and all the appropriate software. Um, I do, so that's what I use. Um, so try it. If it doesn't work, I've tried most of these, and this is the one that's worked out the best for me. But if that one is not working for you, then I would recommend the UpResNet 10. And then split size and batch size, um, if you have a really fast computer, especially I think you need a lot of VRAM on your graphics card, you can up upgrade these numbers and it will render faster. And then the use TTA mode button, if you click that on, it will be higher quality upscaling, but it takes like four to five times as long, so I don't use it. And just the, j for me, upscaling this 1080p clip, which is 20 seconds to 4K, takes like 25, 30 minutes. So yeah, so I, I've already previously done that, so I'm not gonna do that right now, but obviously, you know, you just hit start, and then when it's done, you'll have this folder right here. And this folder has a bunch of video, or I mean, not video clips, um, PNGs of it, all the individual frames in 4K. And so then we're gonna go back to DaVinci Resolve and go to Project Manager. I already created a project called Kobayashi 4K, but obviously you need to create a new project. And then you're gonna wanna set uh, your resolution to 4K for 4K processing, and then frame rate is 29.97 for this specific. No, it's not. It's 23.976. Yeah. Anyway, that's the uh, that that's the correct frame rate for this. And then let me just delete this. So I can start over and show you. So in in DaVinci Resolve, when you have a bunch of v pictures that are all numbered in chronological order, DaVinci Resolve will recognize that and then group them all together automatically for you right here. So instead of me having to import 650 individual pictures, I can just click and drag that in and it automatically will import all of those already all lined up and ready to go. So that's super nice. So yeah, so then you just take this and then you drag it into your frame. And then we're gonna go back to the audio clip that we exported in the beginning right here. And we'll, you know, drag that in. I already have it right here. And then we'll bring that in like that. And then we're gonna go over to color and then we're gonna do another round of sharpening. and. This is definitely um, optional, you know, depending on what look you're going for and what your source material looks like. But um, yeah, so like here, if you zoom into these lines like this, here we go. If I click this down one, I, I, I really think it makes it sharper. And then I'm gonna just soften it up a little bit. And then there we go. And that's, that's all I'm gonna do. So then I'll deliver it. Well, I mean, export it. I don't know why. I don't know why DaVinci Resolve calls it deliver, but yeah, and then I'll export it. And oh, I'll do that right now because I deleted my other one. All right, just exported it. So we'll take a look here. Now, obviously this video is in 1440p because that's the resolution of my monitor, but I'll probably post that 20 second clip in a 4K version on my YouTube channel. So yeah, I hope this was helpful to y'all. Cut some wind there.